Coming to Riyadh and not visiting Diria is like reading a book and skipping the most important chapter. And showing me around this neighborhood is Daria, who's originally from Ukraine but has been calling Saudi her home for the last six years. This is where the first Saudi family lived and laid the foundation of the first Saudi state. Hello Daria. Yeah, welcome yeah. Welcome to Riyadh. Thank you so much. I'm super excited. It's been 6 years since you've been living here. Have there been any myths that have been broken and what has been your experience so far? Before I came here, I thought like it's super conservative country and actually it was quite conservative when I arrived in 2017. But now it's opening and a lot of things are happening. So it's very interesting time. Pleasantly surprised that you're wearing a nice <laughs> suit. But uh, so things have clearly aged out a lot for women. As long as it more discloses, you are fine to go. Absolutely. So what's the plan for the day? How are we going to explore the Riyadh today? First of all, we have to see the Salva Palace, which is the historical uh, place of the ruling family. Yeah. Before we go to the Salva Palace, let me take you for Saudi coffee. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Especially uh, when someone comes to Saudi, we have to offer uh, Saudi coffee and dates. What is it made of? Is it any different than what you get in the rest of the world? It is different, actually. Yes, actually, also different coffee beans, uh, roasted ones, right. it's like uh, the green be beans and cardamom. Ah, okay. Yeah. I love the dates. They look very tempting. Can I have them? Yes. Can I tell you one thing? Yeah. So here in Saudi, okay, uh, everyone takes. Everything with the right hand. Yeah, with the right hand. Oh, I'm sorry. So you take with the right hand, and you take dates with the right hand. This is Got it. <laughs> okay, that's a good learning. So always use your right hand when in Saudi. Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Daria. This is exactly why we met today. I need to learn all about Saudi. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> It's not sweet. It's a bit bitter, right? No, Which is why you. That's why you have dates. Dates. So, Daria, what is the best part about living an expat life in Riyadh? First of all, uh, here in Riyadh, you can find uh, people from all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, and the locals here mm -hmm. are very hospitable and uh, kind. You can walk on the street or you can uh, sit in the cafe and then you can just uh, ask some someone for a help and they will always invite you to to have coffee with them. They can even invite you to your uh, to their house. So. They are very hospitable. Yeah. Have you learned any any bit of Arabic here? Because I've been struggling, <laughs> wanting Actually, to. Yes, it's like you know, it's the, mm -hmm. the easiest one. It's marhaba or assalamu alaikum. Yeah. I've learned a couple of words. I know that I make a lot of mistakes. So Asif is the safest oh. word. <laughs> After everything. Yeah. After everything, just say Asif. <laughs> Almost everybody said to me, "Maafi mushkil." Like if I would ask for something or request for something, everybody in return would say, "Maafi mushkil." Like no problem, it's yeah. fine. You know, yeah. it just yeah. shows that how yeah. accommodating and yeah. hospitable yeah. they yeah. are. Yes. And relax. Like anything happens, maafi mushkil. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go and try some traditional food. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> As we headed to explore the Salwa Palace in Diria, the kids in Riyadh were joyously celebrating Saudi National Day. And then I came across this little girl with curly hair, looking like my younger self. Sara is only six years old, but she stole my heart. I can't get my eyes off her. Oh, you're so pretty. She's like me. She likes the camera. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Shush. You know, my imagination of Saudi was only about deserts. Yeah. Look at the kind of greenery it has. Me also, yeah. I, I thought like that, but then. Yeah. This park, and then also they are doing uh, the biggest park in the world, uh, really? which will open the first stage, and I think in 2030, King Salman Park. The lots of things that are happening yes. as a part of the Vision 2030. Exactly, yes. So I have to come back again. Yes, 
wow this looks straight out of an arabian fairy tale with that moon shining on top and this beautiful palace it looks absolutely magical right you're right so this is salva palace okay it's the historical residence of the ruling family and birthplace of the nation wow and can anybody go in and get a tour of the yes, palace of course it's like a museum wow let's go <laughs> Wow, this looks absolutely magical. Not even exaggerating. About the family. Oh right, so that that must be the first king, I oh, assume, the are. south king. And you see, there is also the dates, the year. Oh, interesting. Uh, view of the, the area. Yeah, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, the palace, nice. right? This is like the entire map yeah. of Biria. It's quite huge. It These big. are some of like the olden homes, I guess, where yeah, people yeah. used to live earlier, or also yes. shops. But I'm super hungry now, and I hope you're going to treat me to the Saudi hospitality that I've been hearing so much about. Great, so we're gonna go and have uh, some traditional food and I hope you are very hungry because Saudi food is very delicious. Wow, traditional Saudi food, kalas. That's my plan for the night. Let's go. Two actually traditional food, uh, kapsa and mandi. Okay. So there is a slight difference between of, uh, this uh, food. <laughs> yeah. uh, mandi is prepared underground and uh, kapsa is prepared in the oven. Which one do you like? I prefer kapsa. You prefer kapsa? Okay, so let's try that today. Very good. Melts in your mouth, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, what is your favorite kind of food that you like here? There is uh, jarish mm -hmm. and kapsa, of course. And any favorite restaurants that you have that I must visit now that I'm here? Yes, actually you have to visit a traditional restaurant called Naj Village. Okay. Uh, where you have a separate room. Okay. And then it's a uh, down floor sitting. Right. So you sit on the floor and then you have to eat with your hands. Oh, like that's interesting. Yes. Oh, what is the name of the restaurant you said? Nash Village. Nash Village. Yes. Definitely, I'm here for the next yes. three days. I'm definitely going to explore that for sure. Good evening. Here you go. This is the Saudi coffee. We start to give it. Sorry. We start for light thing, people. After that, another one. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. You're going to play a fun game now, Daria. You're okay. going to play a game called This or That. I'm going to give you some choices. You've got to choose one. Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right. So tell me, camel ride or desert safari? Camel ride. Kapsa or mandi? I think I know the answer yeah, already. Yes, kapsa. <laughs> okay, traditional souk or modern mall? Traditional souk. Red Sea beaches or sand dew? Red Sea. Riyadh skyline or the historic Diria? Historical Diria. Cold winters or hot summers? Uh, well, this is hard one. I think it's, uh, warm winters in Riyadh. <laughs> <laughs> but does it get very cold when uh, it's cold? At night, yes, it's very cold. Very yes. cold. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, Ukrainian folk music or Saudi Arabian traditional music? I'll go with Saudi. Okay. Mountains or vast deserts? Mountains. And finally, Darya, Kiev's coffee culture or Riyadh's traditional tea? <laughs> it's been wonderful, Daria, hanging out with you. Thank you for showing me around, Daria, letting me try the traditional Saudi coffee and the slam kipsa, which I can't wait to finish, bringing me closer to Saudi hospitality. That's great. I hope you enjoyed it and you have to come again. Definitely, for sure. And by then, you can learn some cooking yeah. as well. Okay, deal. <laughs>